Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. This is tutorial number 7, Creating Bridge. Creating Bridge is another important topic for network admin. Ethernet like network such as Ethernet IEEE 802.11 in AB Bridge, UIP or VLAN can be connected together using MAC bridges. We also create bridge interface to add loopback address on it because these loopback addresses are logical address and they never get down. We will use bridge interface in UIP tunnel configuration. In UIP tunnel configuration, the two geographically separate networks can be bridged as if they are attached to the same map. In this video, we will learn how to create bridge interface for combining two separate Ethernet interfaces to work as a single port. To combine a number of networks into one bridge, a bridge interface should be created first. Later, all the desired physical interface should be set up as its port. And one MAC address will be assigned automatically just after we create bridge interface. Okay, for configuration, we click on bridge from the menu. Click on bridge from the menu. Now click on plus sign to add bridge interface. Now put a name here, the name field. I put it as LAN. You have to click apply, then OK. Now your bridge interface has been created. Now select Ports tab. From here, we add our desired physical interface to our bridge interface port. Let me show you a figure. You can see we have two separate PC from two separate physical interface. And we are going to add port 4 and port 5 to the bridge port. What it makes is combine two separate physical interfaces to one single connection. Suppose you don't have local switch to connect your two PC, but you want to keep them as a single network. So you can just plug your two PCs to this 4 and 5 port and it will work as single network. Let's back to the microdic. From the ports tab, we'll add the physical interface to the port. Click on plus sign. In this microdic, we have only 4 ports. So we're going to add 3 and 4 ports as our bridge. So from the drop down list, select the 3. And set it up as number of bridge port we have created. So it will be with the LAN as our bridge interface. So you have to click apply and OK. And then again, click on plus sign. Now we will add Ether 4 as number of bridge port we have created. Click apply. OK. So it will combine these two physical interfaces into the bridge interface. Our bridge interface name is LAN. So what we have to do is set the IP address on the bridge interface port. Previously we have added our IP address on Ether4. Now we have to select on LAN. This is our bridge interface. So it will work as a single network so either you connect to from ether 4 or ether 5 the ip block will be the same okay suppose you have ap wireless access point interface on the micro -tip, and you have wired LAN connectivity on other port like port 4 or 5 you can combine these two interfaces on one bridge port 2 so your wired connection and wireless connection can be the same network. I'll show you another figure so you can understand. Here you can see wet connectivity PC1 
connected from ether flow and another wireless ap we have interface on wlan 1 so we will combine these two interfaces on our bridge port now from the port step we will add our wireless lan interface into the bridge port so we have to select the wlan 1 and set it as a member of bridge port which is lan apply okay so we have combined WLAN Ether 4 and Ether 3 on the same bridge interface. We will use the bridge port for various configurations later in the series. So you need to remember how to create bridge. If you think this video is useful for you, don't forget to subscribe this channel and share it to others. Thanks for watching.